and welcome back to my stream this is Rattle Gaming I'm Rattle and I am carrying on with the Diablo 4 beta this is the first day of the open beta everybody's got access everybody can do whatever the hell they want and uh, I'm carrying on with my barbarian from uh, last time he is in all his glory had some uh, legendary items unlocked uh, max level and uh, I have actually gotten a build that I'm super happy with that uh, gives me high survivability and high damage. So uh, I'm just going to run out and just kind of show you what this bad boy can do. Um, let's go to this zone which I haven't been to yet. Uh, probably shorter from there. already see some new players dropping in this guy's just started playing a druid of the ancients so basically the idea is you use your leap to get close in on the action you cast rallying cry which boosts your movement speed your resource generation and it also helps your allies I have upgraded this for um, I have upgraded this to have um, what do you call it um, it, un the unstoppable trait which uh, makes it remove all uh, control effects on my character so this is great for getting out of a stun um, but that's it's, uh, it's just kind of you leap into battle you uh, you throw this down because it gives you resource generation now resource generation is super important because that's what uh, helps you build up your fury and the more fury you have the better and that's the whole point of this build my third skill I've got here is Death Blow. That's kind of just to finish off targets. Um, and if I do get a killing blow, then I gain 20 fury on it. Again, Need boosting my hatred, take you. Where the hell did that come from? Anyway. Uh, then my ultimate is Wrath of the Berserker. That's just generates 50 fury off the bat, gives me bonus damage. Uh, gives me movement speed. This basically also stops uh, movement impairing effects. So when you're fighting an elite enemy or a boss, this is what you kind of want to throw down. Uh, it's got a relatively, it's the, the longest cooldown of all the abilities, but it is worth it. And uh, yeah, I mean, like in that 60 second refresh, if by that point you've already destroyed everything else on the field. So my primary um, ability to generate Fury is actually Frenzy, which is one of the first abilities you can pick up. You can see I only have it at rank 1, but I will go through the tree now and I'll show you which which talents I, I chose to help generate as much resources as possible. And then obviously the main damage dealer of this build is Hammer of the Ancients, which will slam down a big uh, AoE attack. Um, and for each, yeah, you can see, again, 3% more fury for 5 seconds for each enemy damaged. So the more enemies you damage when you throw down this hammer, the more fury you get. And you can throw down the hammer again, up to 10 enemies. And as well, the higher your fury is, the more damage in terms of percentage you will uh, do overall. So this whole build is about getting fury up as fast as possible, keeping it up there, and then throwing down Hammer of Ancients one after the other just to destroy your enemies and so far this has been going pretty well for me so now just to walk you through the the tree here all the way up top like i said i start with frenzy 
You want to go for Enhanced Frenzy, because again it boosts your Fury generation. Then you want to go Combat Frenzy, which gives you 8% damage reduction for each stack of Frenzy you get. Now Frenzy builds up, I believe, for... Um, I forget how many stacks, but basically, I think it's up to 5 stacks. I'm not actually sure. I don't remember. You'll see it in combat. But then this just boosts your passively boosts your your, your your damage reduction. So that means you stay in the fight longer. Um, but again, this is all about building up that fury. Uh, down here, obviously, you want to pick up Hammer of Ancients. You want to get that up to rank five for maximum damage and stacks. Then I want to go Enhanced Hammer. This is when uh, the more enemies you hit with it, the more fury you build up. And then I want to go with Furious Hammer of Ancients, which gives you that percentage damage bonus the higher your fury was when you started using the hammer. Uh, going down, you'll see some of these blue uh, points there. That's just passives from my armor set, but I'm not using these abilities, so it doesn't actually do anything. When you get down here to your defensive skills, this is when I have the Rallying Cry, so it's to bring down the damage uh, the damage enemies does against me. But also, again, it gives me a, just a straight boost in Fury, which gives me closer to the max Fury, which means my hammer does more damage. I went for the Enhanced had a Rallying Cry, which makes me unstoppable, which removes the movement impairing uh, debuffs. Tactical uh, Rallying Cry, which boosts my Fury and gives me 50% resource, rege uh, ge resource generation. Blood. She will have your soul. This person just randomly shouts shit all the time. Anyway, going down, this is where you get your leap, which is uh, which is, is actually, you know, when I'm not in combat, it's a really good like um, mobility skill to have, but this just gets you into the fight faster hitting things, generating fury, using your hammer, clearing it out fast as possible. This can also get you out of a sticky situation. It's got a relatively quick cooldown, 16.15 seconds. That'll get you out of that relative, uh, any, any danger relatively fast. But if you actually hit an enemy with this, you generate fury, which again is the whole point of this build. So enhanced leap is what you want to grab there. Uh, if it doesn't hit any enemies, it actually reduces the cooldown by 4 seconds. This is when I said it's a good mobility skill to have for the Barbarian, which is Barbarian is generally slow. And then uh, Power Leap. If you do hit the enemy, you gain the Fury. Moving down to the Weapons Mastery skills. This is where you pick up uh, Death Blow. Um, it does as a straight damage bonus when you hit the enemy. And you've got a 51% uh, luck, lucky hit chance, which is like critical hit, um, which is essentially it does like maximum damage. Um, and if you actually hit, a, if you kill an enemy with this ability, he, it just straight up resets the cooldown, and you can hit death blow again. Sometimes I just use the, use it to weaken an enemy, especially on bosses. This does it takes out a big chunk of their health. Um, so it's so most of the time you want to wait for it to actually finish off an enemy so you can instantly reset the cooldown Otherwise, it's a 15 second cooldown Obviously, you're gonna pick up enhanced death blow deals hundred percent extra damage against all bosses very important And then fighters death blow if death blow hits at least Damages not kills damages at least one enemy you gain 20 fury Which again is the whole point of this build building up that fury now down here, which is uh, ultimate skills, you want to pick up Wrath of the Berserker because it boosts your damage, it boosts your survivability straight up. Prime Wrath of the Berserker, 20% extra movement speed, gets you in and out of the fight faster, and it boosts your fury generation. Again, this is how we get Hammer of Ancients to maximum effect. Then Supreme Wrath of the Berserker, you gain 50 Fury and increases your Berserk's damage uh, bonus by 25%. So, yeah, as you can see, this whole thing is about getting your Barbarian as angry as possible and then beating everybody with your giant hammer. But that's as far as you can kind of go in this, because level 25 is the max for the open beta. Um, we'll be pleased. Damn it, that guy's annoying. So I'm just going to uh, see if I can find another fight for you guys. Down here it seems to be a... Oh, here we go. So you can see, when I didn't start with my uh, leap, I had to build up the fury. But 
once you get there, I don't have enough fury. It's fairly easy to win a battle. Don't even have to worry about healing. You can see the leap there, just the massive boost. Rallying cry gives me another boost in fury. If I stayed out of the damaging abilities, I wouldn't have needed to use my um, healing potion there. You see this uh, enemy's got increased health. But that's not a problem for us. Yeah, and this and because of this build, you can it's you can shred most encounters uh, especially when you get to the swamps and you have the vampires running around it's like a hot knife through butter it's really it's that easy